Okay, so today I'm gonna just recalibrate this XLXT um, ESC with a Fatuba um, 7PXR receiver um, and remote. The receiver and transmitter that I'm using today is a R334SBS-E. This is the four channel um, receiver. And you don't really need that many channels on a speed run car. If you're running fans, things like that. This one I'm just running just the basic uh, motor, batteries. Um, servo and receiver so I'm running a forward channel that's all I really need I will connect this gyro but just to show you today how to um, pretty much calibrate your Fatuba and XLX2 to work together I do have my steering servo on channel 1 my negative which is away from the casing is on the right side positive to the left same thing on this I got this wire flipped around so my ground is on the right side um, power to the left also on this one, ground on the right side, uh, aux wire to the left. In order to calibrate, you wanna turn on your receiver or your remote, um, and then hold down the throttle button. Full throttle, turn on. Wait till it turns green, beeps. Go forward. Hold it. Neutral. And then now it's calibrated. So we should be able to get um, power going forward and backwards. And this way we got cogging, so let's go ahead and recalibrate. So what I'm gonna do is hold throttle all the way down. Wait for green lights again. Wait for my beeps. Four. Release, go forward. Release. And there we go, it's calibrated. So if I go forward, it should go forward. Reverse. And one thing to keep in mind on your remote side, you do want to go into um, user menu or menu, linkage menu. Then you're going to go to channel reverse. Make sure your channel two is reverse if you're using Fatiba. Um, just so that you have that output. If you do have a motor that is reverse, like this case, um, you do want to go with your castle link and reset your motor direction to reverse as well. If you're flipping it that way, then you wanna make sure your appropriate motor is going um, in the correct direction. So there you have it, how to calibrate a ESC to Fatuba remote. So I like to have my throttle full and reverse. Um, that's pretty much how I have it. So if I want to go in on the remote side, I'll set up ABS so that way when I go into full reverse, it's not going to go into reverse. It's going to do ABS braking so that way I don't overload the ESC, catch it on fire. There's a lot of guys out there that is overloading the ESC. It's catching on fire, things in that nature. And one thing they have probably set up is incorrectly is the ESC probably too much braking, drag braking, full braking. You want to stay, if you're doing speed runs, on the about 50% and under, and then you want to set on your receiver, if you can, ABS braking. ABS braking is just going to not let that motor go into full reverse on the full run. It's, your, your wheels are pretty much going to go a little bit, and then it's going to like do ABS pulsing. So in that case, you're not going to really stress out the motor. Um, you're not going to stress out the ESC, and you can slow down your vehicle safely. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Enjoy life. Have a nice day.